Hi, this is Munson from Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play an, an old tune called Long Black Train. And it starts on the G major chord. And the way you play G major, first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret. Second finger is going to go low E on the third fret. And the third finger is going to go to the high E on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that makes a G major chord. And it sounds really, really happy. And our intro kind of starts with just four of those G majors. And then from there, we're, we're going to be starting our verse. And, and the, the, we're going to start on G major, and another G major, and another G major, and another G major. And then we've got another G major, and another G major. But then we're going to go to an E minor chord. And the way you play E minor, first finger is going to actually stay on the A string, and the second finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret. And you strum all those together, it makes an E minor chord. And then it sounds really, really sad. And after E minor, we're going to be going back to a G major chord. And then we do another G major, G major, G major, G major, G major, G major. And then we go to a D major. And the way you play D major, first finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret. Second finger is going to go to the high E on the second fret. And the third finger is going to go to the B string on, on the third fret. And with D major, you want to strum just the top four strings to get your clearest sound out of the D major. And then from D major, we're going back to G major. And another G major. And another G major. And then G major. 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 E minor. G major. G major. start our chorus part which actually starts on the G2 so we got G major G major G major G major G major G major and then we go to D major D major and then we got an E minor and then a G major but then we go to a C major chord and the way you play C major first finger is gonna go to the B on the first fret Second finger goes to the D on the second fret, and the third finger is going to go to the A on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that makes a C major chord that sounds really, really happy. And then from the C major in the chorus, then we go back to G major, and then we do an E minor, and then G major, D major, G major, G major, G major. So that's kind of our verse and our chorus. Um, through the song, but a lot of times with a song like this to make it more interesting I like adding what I call a strum pattern to it and my favorite strum pattern for a 4-4 like this is, is is Down, down, up, up, down, up So we just took the G chord that we're playing a lot through the song and just kind of tried that a whole lot We have down, down, up Try that through our verse, then we got G down, down, up, up, down, up, G down, down, up, up, down, 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 E minor, down, down, up, up, down, G 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 down, down, up, up
same strum pattern. So we got G down up. Now, one kind of weird thing about that is instead of starting on a G chord in, in, in the song, the song actually starts on a B flat major chord. So to do that, what you want to do is take, take your capo, and if you put the capo on third fret, then, then your G major is now a B flat major, and your D major is really an F major, and your E minor is really a G minor, and your C major is really an E flat major. <laughs> So just to kind of try it that way through, you have have your intro where we just got a lot of G's. We got the G down, up, up, down, G down, 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 down, up, up, down,
got G down, down, down. kind of strum through the whole song long, long black train something else i would think about adding to this is since it's kind of a almost a traditional country feel a lot of times strum pattern wise what you would do on a g chord in a traditional country is you would do the low e for a bass note and then do a down up and then play the d string for a bass note and then do a down up. so you have g with the low e bass down up d bass down up low e bass down up d bass You'd be doing almost exactly that same thing, but now you're going to be doing the D for the first bass, and then your A string for the bass. So you just want to try that a lot, where you got D bass, down up A bass, down up D bass, down up A bass, down up D bass, down up A bass, down up. And then when you get to your E minor chord, you'd be doing low E for the bass, and then the A string. is the root of the chord and the, what's called the fifth of the chord where for instance like on the G chord of G is the root G A B C D is the fifth so so that's what why on the G chord we're doing low E string and then we're doing the D string for the fifth but the weirdest one is the C chord on C chord you do the A string for the root and then what I like to do is, is kind of taking the third finger and going to the low E string on the third fret so on the C chord my fingers actually moving from the A string third fret to the low E string third fret C with the A string third, C with the low E string third, C with the A string third, with the low E string third. So if you tried that through your verse, then you have the G.
another way that you can kind of end the tune and, and randomly there's actually something I call a, a country tag that would work really well for the end of this song where where it, when you're coming out of that D at the very or actually we got the C at the very end right and then you could go to the G chord instead of doing just the down on it you could do this which is something I call the country tag where I'm playing low E on the third fret and then I'm going open A string and then kind of doing a hammer on the first fret and second fret and then I'm going to the D string for a hammer on the second, and then a pull off immediately after that, and then open G, and then playing a big G chord. So we got three on the low E, open A, hammer on the first, hammer on the second, open D, hammer on the second, pull off to open, open G, and then a big G chord. So you have that big C chord for the end, and then you could do the G with the low E third, open A, one, two, oh, two, oh, open G, big G. So that's the basics of how you can play Long Black Train, so good luck!